By the end, you will know how to create a modal component in React in less than 30 lines of code. Previously, modals have been built using HTML divs on top of each other and some complicated CSS. But now they're natively available in HTML using the dialog component. Let's get started. So I have an empty React project running here and I have just one button toggle modal. When we click the button, we want a modal to appear. Let's go into our file tree. Inside a components folder, we'll create a modal.tsx file. Here is where we will create the modal component. We'll do export default function modal. This is gonna turn stuff that we need. The only thing that it needs is a dialogue. Inside this dialogue, we're gonna have children. These children are gonna be passed down as props. Let's also give this a type. Properties children is going to be a React node. We'll also give this an ID. That can also be a prop label. This is so every modal that we create will have an ID because we need the ID to turn the modal off and on. Now that we have a basic dialog model, this pretty much says that we're going to pass in React nodes into this and this dialog will render the children underneath this dialog. Let's save that. Let's create a function now to toggle the modal on and off. So let's call this function. We'll also just to export. We'll also export this function. So export function toggle modal. This will take in the ID, which is going to be of type string. And what's, what it's going to do first is it, let's select the modal. So const modal element is equal to document dot get element by id id and if modal exists we want to now check if the modal is open let's also create a, let's also create another condition here checking if the modal is open const modal is open is equal to modal element dot open we also need to make typescript happy because it doesn't know what element that we're selecting by this id so we just do as HTML dialog element. Now that we've done that, now we can check if modal is open. We want the modal to close. So modal element dot close. It's just as simple as that. Else if modal is closed. Modal is closed. We want the modal to open. That is modal element dot show modal. That's how simple it is to show a modal. Let's save that. And now we can go back to our app.tsx file. And here we can add a modal. So we just do Modal. And as you can see, we need to pass in a label as a prop. We'll just call this test modal. And inside it, we can pass in just a h1 tag saying, Hi, I'm in a modal. Save that. And for this button of toggle modal, we add an on click. That will run our function toggle modal that we created. And the ID, the modal that I wanted to target is test modal. Save. If we go and check the browser now, we will be able to toggle the modal. If I press this button, a modal will appear. And just like that, we have a modal. But we can't really close it. So we also need to add a button inside the modal to close it. So go back to our code, go back to go back into our modal component. And along with the children, we'll add 
a button that will be close and this will run the toggle modal function with the label as the parameter save that now go back to the browser and now if we press this close button the modal will close and just like that we have a functioning modal that can, that you can turn on and off it was only done in 12 lines excluding the function so that is how creating a modal in react is super simple now because of the HTML dialog. You don't have to use complicated divs to create a modal in React. To improve your productivity, you can watch the VS Code shortcuts video. Otherwise, thank you.